Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we did a little bit of rainy day fishing to gather up some more fish for the Junimos, and while we did complete one of their bundles, I think the fishing is going to be put on hold for now. Most of the other fish that we need actually only come out in the um, summertime, or at least that's when they're going to start coming out. So we just have to wait for the seasons to tick over, which honestly is not going to take that much time at all. It's already the uh, 18th of spring, which is Pam's birthday too. So this is going to be taking top priority today as we try to find Pam wherever she may be on this very rainy day. I would imagine she's probably inside somewhere, maybe inside um, her trailer actually. That would probably be the um, best place to check first. But then we have Shane's birthday coming up in two days so we'll have to see if maybe one of our chickens left us some particularly high quality eggs because we know from experience that he appreciates those and then finally we have the flower dance coming up next week too early next week on a Wednesday so I'm sure that this flower dance is going to go much better than it did last year for our little farmer I can't imagine that nobody would want to um, dance with Jess this year at the very least but we should probably take off our sailor's cap too I can't imagine that we're going to need this today especially if we're not fishing so we'll go ahead and plop this straight back in the chest and pick up our lovely Daisy again. And speaking of which, like where on earth is Daisy? Is my cat actually outside today? She's not by the fireplace, so she must be outside in the rain. Oh my gosh, Daisy, way up there in the rain. Well, let's give you a nice little pat on the head and then we'll give you your water too. Though I think you might wanna go inside, Daisy. I think it might be a little bit more comfortable for you if you were all cozy inside by the fireplace. But let's see what sort of letter has been sent to us today. Hello there, dear. I hope your farm is doing well. I'm sending you a little something from my kitchen. I hope it didn't crumble in the mail from Evelyn. Oh my gosh, she sent us one of those giant chocolate cakes. Oh, that is exactly what we gave to um, Vincent on his birthday, actually. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that in our fridge again, because we might need that later. That might be a good thing for us to um, give to somebody if we need another very special gift at some point. I can't believe that a giant chocolate cake with three layers and everything. Evelyn is spoiling us. She is spoiling us rotten, though it probably has something to do with um, all of those tulips that we grew for her. And in fact, let's take some of our tulips out and about on the town again today. I am going to give one to um, Pam, of course, but if we can find Evelyn too, then um, it might be a good idea to give her one of those as well. I think, um, yeah, we have one more gift that we can give her this week, so I'm sure she would really appreciate it if we found her and uh, gave her a tulip too. So we'll place that in our inventory, and otherwise, I think we just have um, a couple more of our chores to do on the farm and it looks like our coffee beans are actually ready again oh my gosh that's perfect that means that we can um, finally make our fresh pot of coffee if we get our other coffee beans we can put this in our keg and I'm not sure how long this is going to take but we might as well start it right now so that it has plenty of time to brew in there and we'll place them of course the leftovers right back in here so that we can make another fresh cup of coffee in the future for that matter it looks like we could also just like plant the um, coffee beans that we receive from the plant itself and get even more coffee plants growing at once so then we could have a ton of coffee brewing all at the same time I wonder if that would be a good idea I mean we should probably have at least um, a more than one coffee plant because it does take quite a while to get five coffee beans from that single one and um, we do have all of these green beans down here too so we may as well gather up these and it looks like our strawberry plants are coming along very very well it seems like they'll probably be done growing pretty soon and then we can um, hopefully get some fresh strawberries to give around the town as gifts as well um, now I think we can also place one of these inside the keg too. So why don't we see what we um, receive from the vegetables? We might as well do that as well. I mean, I know that it's going to be more valuable than um, simply selling off the green beans as they are. And for that matter, we could also place them in the preserves jars. Like we were saving this for um, the strawberry jam that we were going to make, but we might as well just change over just like we do for the eggs and just like we do for um, the milk as well. Now, why don't we go ahead and place just a couple more of these right in our um, chest, just in case this is particularly valuable just in case we want to um, change some more over later and the rest of them can go ahead and um, sell off in the bin and we'll get that extra gold. We'll definitely need that extra gold anyway. We did spend quite a bit of it at Clint's and uh, speaking of which we do need to go to Clint's today as well after we finish all of our chores on the farm because um, he should be done with our pickaxe. 
finally, which means that we will also be able to get rid of the uh, meteor that has been sitting on our farm for so very long. And I'm sure our cows in particular are going to be very, very pleased with us for um, getting rid of that meteor since it has been sitting right in the middle of all of their fresh grass for a very long time. So once they can finally stretch their little cow legs, I think they will be very, very pleased to see that we have a fix that up for them. I can't imagine that the meteor would make the grass um, taste too good. It probably would not taste very well with these space rocks sitting right in the middle of it. So I'm sure at the very least they will um, be a little bit happier once we get rid of that. But let's also go up to our chickens too because we do want to see if maybe they have a nice high quality egg for um, Shane's birthday. We do have some large eggs but it doesn't look like they have um, any special stars on them unfortunately. Yeah so we might as well just change those over to um, a mayonnaise I suppose. But let's give them their hay too so that they have something to eat on this rainy day and then we'll let them stay all nice and cozy inside while um, we go out on our adventures and try to find Pam I guess. Let's just again take a very quick peek in here. There we go. Our fruit pads finally left us some things. All right. Now unfortunately it looks like these are just forage goods so still no apricots. They still have not managed to find us a single apricot out and about on the town but um, we can place this inside our chest at the very least and oh my gosh is our coffee actually ready? It's ready already. I cannot believe that that was so fast. Okay so let's place a couple of these things in here too so that that's um, ready to brew. We'll place our milk in here for the cheese. We are going to keep the cheese this time so that we can um, put it in our fridge and I guess this means that we can take this on the town too. We could go give this to um, Harvey actually. That's who we were going to give it to before. So why don't we see if we can find Harvey today as well and we'll give him our very first fresh batch of coffee. Now if we can't find Pam in um, any of the houses today then we do know that she is going to be in the saloon later at night because of course that's where she always goes um, later on in the day. I would imagine that she's probably inside her house though. Like I would imagine and that's probably where she's spending the day which is kind of a bummer that she has to spend her entire birthday like all holed up inside but that's why we're going to give her a nice beautiful flower to hopefully brighten up her day a little bit but since Harvey is usually right in his clinic why don't we go ahead and see if he's in today um we'll see if he's right inside he probably is right let's see is he actually I'm um, checking out one of his patients maybe like Jody's right down here but I don't see Harvey so maybe he's in his room instead let's see if we can find him there he is right by his radio well Harvey you are going to be very, very impressed with us, I think, because we made you a very fresh batch of coffee. A homemade batch of coffee, in fact, from our very own coffee beans. It's for me, this is my favorite stuff. It's like you read my mind. That is exactly what he said last time, too. So he loves the coffee, and I'm very, very glad that we could um, give that to him at least. And yeah, it looks like Jody is probably coming here for a checkup, so we should let her um, go in there. We probably shouldn't interrupt her. I'm not sure why Harvey is uh, not down there, actually. It seems like she's just walking in herself. But let's see. Um, wanted slime hunter to slay six red slimes in the deep lava caverns of the local mine. Um, who is this actually for? It doesn't say who we need to um, do this for, but I suppose we could accept that. Maybe. That's something that we could possibly do because we do want to go back in the mines anyway. There are some certain recipes that we need to go back in the mines for. Um, particularly the mayonnaise machine, I believe. We need some earth crystals for that, and we haven't actually seen an earth crystal in a very, very long time. So that is a possibility. I guess um, tomorrow if we don't have anything else to do then we could zip on down to the mines and see if we can slay some red slimes. Now the red slimes were the ones that gave me a little bit of trouble um, last time we were really working through the mines. Those are the ones that completely overwhelmed me and actually ended up uh, getting just a little bit sick. Linus had to come bail us out of the mines. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can donate this Nautilus shell too though before I forget about this. We definitely want to give this to him Gunther. We'll see if we can plop this down right over here on this shelf I guess because now this is completely full. I mean we have done a pretty good job of filling up his shelves haven't we? I would imagine that pretty soon he's probably going to have another one of those rewards for us but not yet. Like 95% of the things that we actually have in our house are just um, things from Gunther at this point. Well, let's go ahead and get our pickaxe too. There we go our brand new gold pickaxe so we can go back to the farm and um, hopefully finally get rid of that meteor. Now as far as his quest goes apparently Apparently we need to um, give him brand new copper ore, not stuff that we found in our chest. Though you guys have mentioned that if we maybe like throw it on the ground and then pick it up again then it might count as new copper ore. So that's why he wouldn't accept um, my copper ore from a few episodes ago. It's because it wasn't
wasn't dumb technically new, so I guess it wasn't dumb good enough for him to survey for his research. We'll have to keep that in mind though, because despite the fact that that is what he wanted, he actually really doesn't seem to um, like Copper too much. He was very, very offended that that's what we gave him. Um, it doesn't look like Pam is in here just yet, but there's Sam over here and Abigail too. I don't usually see them way over here, and of course I'm Louis as well. Maybe we could actually give Abby one of our tulips? We'll see if maybe she appreciates this too. Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. Oh my gosh. She has eight hearts as well. I think she is actually the closest uh, member of the town to us at the moment. Yeah, we're just missing those two uh, romantic hearts, of course. Um, we don't really have a gift ready for Sam just yet, and it looks like he's already getting his own Joja Cola anyway, so we don't really need to buy one of those for him. And um, Louis is also another one that we don't really have a good gift for, unless we give him one of our eggs. Um, I'm not sure, does he actually like the eggs? We really haven't given him too many gifts yet, and I do want to make sure that we're um, keeping on Louis's good side. He is the mayor, and he was, of course, um, our grandfather's very, very good friend. That's very nice of you, thanks. Well, he wasn't that too impressed with our large egg, but I'm sure he appreciated it anyway. Now, Pam is not in here just yet, so, oh my goodness, let's see if we can find her somewhere. Um, she could actually be at the Jojamar or inside, I guess. There is a possibility that she might be inside her um, trailer. Um, Penny's in here instead. Okay, but I don't see Pam. Jess, you came at a good time. I'm just about finished cooking a new recipe I invented. Oh, maybe she's making something for her mother for her birthday. I wonder if we're going to have to try it, though. Is she going to make us try this? Let me just finish up real quick. Oh my gosh. Penny, you are not supposed to use hammers while you're making food. <laughs> It sounded like she literally used a hammer. Here, give that a little taste. I'm a little bit concerned now. If you have to break your food up with a hammer, it's probably not a good thing. Oh dear. Okay, well, um, that was delicious. A little bit of a lie there. Uh, can I get the rest to go? Or, well, it's definitely unique. How did you get it so rubbery? Um, it's definitely not a good idea to lie to her, I don't think. Probably not, because then she's going to think that we really, really love her food and we're going to have to keep eating this stuff. So let's just not lie to her. Let's not lie. Let's just try to, um, I guess, let her down very gently. Well, it's definitely unique. How did you get it so rubbery? Like, that doesn't sound very nice, but it's better than lying to her, right? So let's say that. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no. Was that like the wrong choice? Well, I guess this recipe was a failure. I mean, there wasn't really a good choice for that, was there? Um, so how about we watch a movie or something? Much better. A much, much better idea, Penny. Though unfortunately, Pam is not in here, is she? Yeah, she's not in here at all, which is a little bit unfortunate, and I guess it is a good thing that she wasn't making that for Pam after all. Thanks for being my taste tester. You're welcome, Penny. It seems like she's, um, very happy watching her movie, whatever that is anyway. We'll go ahead and see if maybe Pam is, um, inside the Joja Mart, though. I mean, we absolutely have to find Pam before the day is over. It's almost 5 p.m. too, so everything is going to start closing up pretty soon, except for the Saloon. So again, like, I know that we're going to be able to find her there at the very least um, once it gets late enough, but let's just take a very quick peek in here, because sometimes she likes to do her shopping at the Joja Mart. There's Shane, too. So, um, he's done working for the day, but yeah, it doesn't seem like, uh, it doesn't seem like Pam is actually in here, so I'm not exactly sure where she might be. Like, I don't really know where she works, or did we find that she actually drives the bus? I think she mentioned that one time that she drives the bus, but the bus is broken down right now because, um, we haven't donated our gold to the Junimos just yet. I believe that was um, one of the rewards that we could get from completing the vault. Yeah, it'll repair the bus. So we have to spend like all of this gold, so much gold, to repair the bus from Pam so that she can take up her job again, which of course would be a very good thing for us to do if we only had the funds to do it. But until Pam is in the saloon, why don't we go ahead and see if we can stop Mom by Evelyn's house. There she is, cooking supper, of course, and give her one of these lovely, lovely two lips. This is absolutely marvelous. And thank you, Evelyn, for giving us that giant chocolate cake that we are definitely going to save for later, um, right inside our fridge. Now, it seems like everyone is filling up the saloon now, so let's make sure that Pam is in here. There she is. I knew you would be in here today, Pam. So let's give her her nice tulip, too. Oh, is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. There we
we go. So she's a little bit uh, warmer toward us than she was the last time we tried to talk to her. Hopefully anyway, right? Uh, I've been looking forward to this beverage all afternoon. Oh, maybe uh, Gus gave her a nice uh, free drink for her birthday too. The only reason why I decided to avoid giving her um, one of the beers from the saloon is because we did learn that her um, relationship with Penny is a little bit strained because of that. So I figured it probably wasn't a good idea to encourage it with um, even more alcohol. So I think she will probably um, very much appreciate that little flower that we gave her instead, especially because it's so very gloomy and rainy out here today. But since we managed to give all of our gifts around the town, we might as well go back to um, the farm and see if we can maybe get rid of that meteor. And of course we have um, our mayonnaise in here too and our cheese, right? There we go, our cheese as well. So I have to remember not to sell off our cheese because we're going to keep this um, in our fridge so that we can hopefully make some very fresh pepper poppers for Shane in the summertime. As soon as we can plant some peppers in the ground, um, I think he will also very much appreciate that. But let's see if we can finally get rid of this meteor too. There we go, it's chipping away. So this seems like it is just what we need to get rid of the meteor, yes! All of that iridium ore, look at that, six of those. I wonder how many we actually need to um, smelt it to an iridium bar. I think we still have some left over in our chest from uh, some other way that we received iridium. Was it maybe in the quarry? That might be the case, but we only have uh, one left over. So let's see how many we can maybe smelt with this. Can we smelt any? Yeah, we can. Okay, so it seems to take um, five pieces of ore to smelt an iridium bar. And we'll leave that in there overnight because I'm sure it's going to take quite a while for it to um, smelt up properly. But other than that, I don't think there's anything else that we need to smelt in here at the moment. But since we still have a tiny bit of time left over before Jess needs to go to bed, let's see if we can go on um, some leak hunting missions again. We found one leak, I think, yesterday, and I definitely want to have more on hand before the uh, springtime passes so that we'll have plenty of gifts to give to George all throughout the year. So let's see if we can spot any of those leaks around in uh, the wilderness. I'm pretty sure that that pesky uh, traveling merchant is picking them all up before we can get to them. So far, though, I am only finding a ton of wild horseradishes and salmon berries galore. So many salmon berries. You guys mentioned that I should actually keep the salmon berries as um, a way to get our energy back later on. It does give us a plus 25 in energy, and um, it's not as good as our fried eggs, but since we have so many of those, it would probably be a good thing for us to keep on hand. That way we can spend more time um, changing our eggs into mayonnaise instead of the fried eggs, and of course um, that'll give us some more gold in the long run. So I'll go ahead and keep the salmon berries in our chest for now, and um, I think that is about all of the exploring that we're going to be able to do today. We definitely need to make sure that we have a nice supply of leeks ready for George though. I definitely want to have a nice big stack inside our chest so that um, we'll have a good amount to give to him as gifts all throughout the season. Otherwise though, let's go ahead and sell off our daffodils. We'll sell our wild horseradishes too. Um, I don't think we really need to keep those for now. And of course our mayonnaise as well. But the cheese is definitely going straight inside our um, little fridge in here so that we can save those over for the summertime. I don't want to forget about that. We already have um, one little piece of cheese waiting for us, but now we have four. So we can make four pepper poppers for Shane once um, we can finally start growing our very own uh, hot peppers again. We already have a pepper popper inside our um, fridge actually. So if we can't manage to get a high quality egg for his birthday, then we could always give this to him instead. And in fact, he might appreciate that just a little bit more. So that is a possibility. That might be what we have to do. But otherwise, let's say goodnight to little Daisy and all of our bears and our skeletons and whatnot. A very, very eclectic mix of furniture in our house. And then we'll go ahead and tuck Jess into bed. So in the next episode, maybe we'll go down into the mines and see if we can slay some more of those red slimes. I mean, we don't often have the best of luck when we're going after the red slimes, but it would probably be a good thing to do just for the extra gold. And of course, we're looking for some of the materials down there anyway to make even more things for the farm. So for now, thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.